once people realize that this is going on, will will want it solved. Uh, not only because, I mean, it, it's their kids. It's their kids that are getting sick. When I was a kid, my parents did everything they could to keep me safe. But that's harder these days, as outbreaks in Alberta's preschools and daycares have exploded from 15 to 83 in just a few months. The rate of growth for daycares and preschools just outstrips anything else. And I, I honestly don't know why why that's happening. It's it's a bit of a mystery. The orange dots you see are all outbreaks in child care and education centers across the province. Rarely, but it does happen, children can get more significant COVID symptoms. And for children, that can be a respiratory disease uh, with the cough and runny nose uh, fever uh, can lead to pneumonia. Uh, some children have gastrointestinal symptoms as well, so they might have vomiting or diarrhea, aches, uh, chills, uh, fatigue. Those kinds of usual viral symptoms. Without vaccines, children are being left unprotected as the province bounces between reopening and restrictions. When we're talking about a new vaccine like these COVID vaccines are, in general, go through a very um, uh, careful process where adults are tested first um, and then testing happens on younger and younger children. As COVID numbers trend in the right direction for the wider population, there is hope that with a bit of attention, kids won't be left on the sinking ship. There are so many different factors here that once addressed can probably solve this pretty quickly. On May 10th, Alberta opened up COVID vaccine bookings to residents as young as 12 just days after Health Canada approved the Pfizer-BioNTech vaccine for Canadians 12 and older. Pfizer has been given to 2,300 children in a study that has not yet been published, but it appears the vaccine was safe in children. In Calgary, Joe Horwood, City News.